Hi guys, my name's Andy and um, what I'm setting out to do is uh, produce um, some HHO gas and I'm not just interested in producing large volumes of gas um, I want to be able to produce gas efficiently and um, so I'm going to carry out some tests and this is going to be the basis of my test cell this is uh, constructed of two sheets of 316 stainless steel and uh, they have a, a one millimeter gap between the two plates and it's bolted together with some nylon nuts and bolts. Uh, if you saw HHO part one uh, then you'll see that I've um, carried out a trial using a copper plate and stainless steel plate and um, that worked out fine uh, that's successful so long as you keep the uh, the copper plate uh, negative if you make the copper plate positive then you produce all um, that oxide and it, uh, it very quickly uh, shuts down um, but um, so in, uh, from now on I shall be using this as my standard test cell it's 100 by 100 millimeters uh, stainless steel and um, uh, I'm not quite sure where I'm going with this uh, just yet so whether or not it'll be successful I find uh, sometimes my experimenting uh, is uh, a, a little bit like digging for gold <laughs> and sometimes all you find is mud uh, like my tinnitus experiment that went nowhere on the other side of the coin I've invented and developed uh, a range of phase lock loop uh, transistorized induction heaters that subsequently went on to sell for thousands of pounds. So, um, you know, sometimes you win some, sometimes you lose some. So, um, I just thought what I would do is uh, record my efforts so that um, you, know, uh, you, you can follow along if you're interested. Um, put me right where I go wrong because I'm uh, my background is electrical, electronic and mechanical. Uh, I'm not a chemist, so I don't understand uh, the chemistry. Um, let's say this uh, th this video is all about just uh, getting together a little test cell, so as so I've got a standard device that I can use for my uh, experimentation. Um, so I, I hope you found, find it interesting. Um, always have a look in the um, uh, the uh, description box, or uh, as it says on YouTube, the show more box uh, that's uh, under this, because I'll put any updates or any links uh, to other videos uh, in the uh, in the comments box. I found a sheet of perspex in my junk box and uh, I thought rather than saw this to cut it up I'd uh, mark it with uh, a Stanley knife and, and cut right, right into it and then snap it off uh, but it, it shattered all over the place I found another sheet of uh, perspex with some holes in so uh, this time I cut it with a hacksaw and didn't risk breaking it I can cut and break uh, polycarbonate sheets with uh, a Stanley knife but I've forgotten I can't really do that with perspex. I found uh, an off cut of Tofnel. This is 10mm uh, thick by 20mm wide. And I've got some uh, M5, that's 5mm diameter bolts to bolt it all together with. So these are the component parts uh, laid out just so as you can see what they are. The two large holes in each of the two sheets were already in the plastic, so um, of the perspex. So uh, I, I I've just left them there. Uh, but the upper half of the panel is what I'm going to use, and that'll be just big enough to accommodate the 100 by 100 uh, stainless steel um, cell. For my tests, I. Uh I've made this uh, little uh, enclosure and uh, it's um, uh, perspex or plexiglass if you like and then uh, this is uh, tufnel around the edge it's just materials that I've got so it's a junk box uh, project and then on the stainless steel cell 
uh, this part what I've done I've cut those bolts off and now uh, that will just uh, post into there and it means that um, I only need a little bit of liquid in there so if I try different liquids um, I, I'm gonna sort of have a lot of liquid and equally I don't want a lot of gas stored in here so uh, I've got to work out how I'm going to seal this. Um, I've simply made this as I do most of my projects out of uh, I'll say found materials things that are already roughly that shape and size as uh, I don't want to waste a lot of time um, planning and drawing and uh, then buying bits of stuff. Um, I find if I work spontaneously I'm more likely to get things done. You, I think you can suffer from what my uh, uh, American colleagues uh, call analysis paralysis. You can go into so much trouble designing a, a prototype at, um, uh, at, at the end of it you wind up making nothing whereas hopefully I'm going to learn something from this. This is not a finished project this is a means to an end. Uh, so if I do make something um, I'll say special then it'll be based on what I learn from this. I haven't got a tube of silicon adhesive open but I, yeah, I found this um, uh, this foam strip so I've put that in and um, I, I haven't drilled up there to pull that in I've, I've just forced that foam into place so uh, I think uh, when I uh, tighten this up now um, it'll be uh, it'll be okay it's self adhesive on one side uh, nice thing about using that is if I do want to take this apart at some stage uh, I can take it apart whereas if I glued it to, together then uh, that silicon uh, would uh, be uh, very difficult to undo I found these in my junk box so I'm going to make a little clip out of these it's a bit of studding and a bit of stainless steel wire the wire is 1.5 millimeter diameter stainless steel and it's uh, very springy um, I think it was off a windscreen wiper I can't remember where I got it from but anyway I bent it with box nose pliers and then uh, I wanted a, just a, a little narrow uh, bend here so I used the snipe nose pliers uh, but I made it too narrow so I straightened it out and uh, rebent it with the box nose pliers so I'm not working to a plan here I'm just doing what I think is right here I've drilled the holes uh, in the box for the studding you can see here I've bent the arms of the uh, clip as I want it to exert some force on the lid to actually uh, press down the foam seal that I've got around the lid of the box. So those are my two clips, they're not identical but I, I didn't measure the wire, I just simply cut in half or what I thought was half and I've just bent them to, to suit but uh, that gives me uh, the ability to uh, just unclip that top and then it just snap, press it down and that seals the foam. I've uh, just filled the uh, the cell with water, and uh, I haven't done this before, but yeah, that 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 seems to be uh, uh, watertight. Um, no reason why it shouldn't be, of course, but uh, you never know. Um, so that's. Uh, A couple of little holes in the top for my uh, cables and uh, um, a gas outlet and that, that should be good. Because of the sort of tests I'm uh, planning to carry out I've decided to fit a uh, socket for a PL259 plug um, but rather than bolt all four holes through which would mean drilling through the foam I'm going to fit it uh, like that so I'll I'll just have a, a couple of fixings. I've uh, put a bit of adhesive under here uh, just to uh, give me a bit of a, 
uh, a gas seal. Now I know you must uh, realise how uh, clean and tidy I keep my uh, workbench, but I'll just give you a quick uh, uh, zoom around to show you the reality. Um, once I get started I tend to uh, throw all of my toys <laughs> out of the pram. Um, uh, so I'm, I'm working on this <laughs> little uh, sort of six inch clean bit uh, in the middle here. I do clear up from time to time but uh, when I'm in full flight I do make a mess. Okay I've got to um, put a, an air or a gas outlet in here and um, I've found this tube this is the thinnest tube I've got it's about five and a half mil outside diameter and it's a, probably something like one and a half mil uh, diameter hole and um, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to cut the head off this bolt so as I can put it in the lathe and drill a hole down the middle of it and then I'll um, uh, turn it down to suit that probably put a barb on the end and then I can just put a couple of um, uh, nuts on there rather than try and hold it in the lathe by the uh, the head and have it waggling around um, so that's uh, the next task I knew this was going to happen I've just broken my one and a half mil drill I was just thinking I'll, I'll stop now and I'll cut the end of the bolt off rather than drill all the way through but um, I probably got in about 20 mil and then the blessed thing's broken so I'll see if I can salvage that uh, I, it's my fault as I didn't want to stop and sharpen uh, a one and a half mil drill there you go okay I've got uh, my uh, my little connector there now this is where uh, not working to a fixed plan helps me if I was working to a fixed plan I'd have to uh, go and get another one and a half mil drill start with another bolt etc but because I'm just doing what the heck I like um, what I can do now is uh, cut this off I'll find the end of that broken drill find out where it is and then drive that out and then what I'll do is I'll simply tap drill and tap into the lid and, and screw this barb into there so that's that's it into the hose I cut the stud down and um, took three or four attempts to find it and you can see it's run slightly off centre which uh, probably why it broke that and the fact it wasn't sharp enough um, and I was probably <laughs> driving it too hard um, so uh, I've had enough of this I'm going to do something else again if I was working to a fixed plan I would have to uh, uh, find another one so what I've decided to do is I'm going to make a, a nipple out of a, a larger bolt. Um, so I'm, I'm going up uh, several sizes and uh, that one should be less problematic. And then what I'll do is I'll work out some reducer um, device so that I can use my small tube. Okay, I've uh, got the, uh, the nipple finished. I uh, feel as though I spent more time looking at this than, uh, than the rest of the project but I suppose it's the only thing that's uh, given me any grief so far uh, so you see it's <laughs> quite a lot larger but I've gone through with a, a 2 millimeter drill I think it is there um, so I'll fit that okay I've got the uh, gas outlet in place I've made my electrical connections to the uh, socket for the PL259 so that's my uh, electrical connections in place and uh, I've got the the box finished so now uh, the, uh, the cell will go into there and then uh, that just clips into place so uh, I'm, uh, I'm about ready to, uh, to, to start carrying out some trials now. Let me know if you've found this interesting because it's a hell of a lot of effort to, uh, to video it as I go through the, you know, building these things. Uh, but if it, if it helps one or two folks, um, uh, then uh, I really don't mind. But um, anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed that. and. Um, I'm looking forward to the rest of the tests. It may take me some time to get onto those now as I've got a lot of other things that I should be doing. Um, all the best. Bye-bye.